Okay, now one quick thing I wanted to show you. Um, we used the very detailed elevation data. Uh, it looks kind of ugly because it's noisy and because some trees or towers look odd in the way that they are the spikes because uh, it's ground radar, lidar. So there's no points that are underneath, so you don't get that kind of detail that you get in uh, photogrammetry or other kinds of scanning mechanisms that are scanned at the ground level. This is aerial, so all you get is the elevation data. So that's fine. Um, so let's add back that other image now that we've got much better quality information. And let's get the bare earth one that we had created. And configure and strain. Let's just do that now. And we'll refresh that and we'll see what a difference uh, that's made. Now, we could have used also the LiDAR locations and the elevations on the green um, Mr. Sid image to create stands of trees. That's We're not going to do that in this class, but that's definitely something you can explore. Um, it's very easy to add, and we will a bit later when we add transformers, but to add uh, trees and other uh, any kind of different city furniture to your model um, at any time. Okay, and now that we've got the data, you know, the LiDAR data, we used it to create these nice building elevations, you can see uh, our city model looks just so much better. And um, But, you know, we really took advantage of that data to create a much more realistic looking uh, scenario. But we still now got the ground elevations um, for the rest of it. So, you know, there's a lot of uses that uh, the whole workflow can be put to.